Yo, what's going on guys? I'm gonna be showing you how to carry out on Kha'Zix jungle here in season 12. Here, I'm just getting a word down. I'm a little bit nervous about the Darius Hecarim potential two versus two. Me and Shen are not gonna be able to fight that off level one. We're gonna be looking to start on our blue buff. Kha'Zix clears way easier and faster off of blue side. Plus, I don't really wanna gank for Shen early because Hecarim's gonna clear bot side to top side. Once again, two versus two, that's gonna be a very, very, very tough fight. So, I'd rather just start top gank the uh, Jin, the Khan, they both have hard CC, it should be pretty easy. I'm gonna start off each camp with a Q auto attack. Easy peasy. The Q is a bread and butter attack resetter. You can flow autos out of it really fast and you can uh, auto attack into it very quickly as well. It's a very smooth ability. You'll be doing more damage with it if the target is isolated on its own. You'll be doing pretty much double damage with it. Your W is just AoE damage. It also heals you if you're close to it when it hits its target. Should be able to walk away and start this camp. Against wolves, you want to try to kill the small ones first. That way you can get that sweet isolation damage off on the bigger one. And it's totally worth missing out on the AoE damage from your second W to do so. Just because your Q isolation damage is that valuable. We've already gotten two isolates on the big wolf here. And now we'll get a third one. We got our E. We'll hop the wall. You want to put it to where it's on all the raptors. So you get your jungle item burn on all of them. And then you're going to try to kill the small raptors. When you're doing this, you want to try to kite away to minimize the damage you're taking. Don't stand exactly in one spot. And then you should be able to finish off the camp with a W. Kha'Zix full clear usually finishes around 330, 335. He does not have the fastest full clear in the game. He's on the slower side of for meta junglers. If the enemy team has tanks and bruisers, you want to go conquer on Kha'Zix. If they don't, then go for a strike. For the rest of the rooms, we have Triumph, Alacrity, Coup de Grasse with Sun Impact and Ravenous Hunter. I'm going to go ahead and hop the wall. I'll smite this guy. Q the big one since he's isolated it, then W to kill the small ones. Golems is the only camp where you, it looks kind of weird like that. I think we might actually do a pre-330 here. That's pretty decent for a one-person leash. I'll take it. Yeah, 329. That's very decent for a Kha'Zix. Full HP, so we'll have double refill as well. Can't complain about that. We should get a uh, scuttle for free because Hecarim will be on top side. TF should not be up that far. Got to realize where the enemy jungler starts as a laner to understand where you're most likely going to be ganked from. At this point, we could reset. It wouldn't be bad. There's nothing on the map to actually gank. My bot lane doesn't have a true freeze. Their wave reinforces first. And cast a chilling underneath turret so our best move here is to just reset first item rush you really 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 want to get eclipse dust blade and prowlers are both good they're just much more situational it depends on like what the enemies picked to where eclipse no matter what they pick you'll be getting very very good value out of it makes you tanky hecarim hasn't backed yet we're tied in cs he overstayed and lingered there we can solo him with our item advantage we're not going to be able to get to him from here. He's already too far away. Go ahead and just start our camps. Clear back down. Your biggest power spike on Kha'Zix is really your level 6. You evolve your Q and that gives you insane damage output. Because when a target's isolated, it puts it on it's like a 50% shorter cooldown, which is nuts. A level 6 Kha'Zix can solo the dragon faster than any champion in the game. It's ridiculous. TF stayed alive. Looks like Shen is alive as well. He's just down quite a bit of CS. Darius is actually pretty low, but... Uh, I think Shen should be fine without me. There's just a lot of situations that I don't feel like are going to be kills. Even then, Shen's shoving the wave into him. Plus, we're building a very nice lead over the Hecarim with just raw CS. At the moment. Hecarim's on his raptors. I can push into his wolves. He's already low on health. I should be able to kill him if he greeds out and stays. A 
I think he backed. I was holding on to my Q just in case. That way I would have that leverage. Usually against champions, you want to auto attack then Q because when they're isolated, your first auto attack against them slows them by 25% for two seconds. So if you can auto then Q, it allows you to easily then land your Q and stay on top of them because your Q has more range than your auto anyway. So if you can reach them with an auto, you can always Q them afterwards. Got him with our auto attack. I jumped on him way too early. That was actually an accident. When you know you can win the fight, you might as well use your jump as a gap closer. We're gonna hit her with an auto attack in the queue, get her W for the hill. Oh, this is big Shenar. That is enormous. Double Rakan knockup. We're not quite level six. We can get it off of this blue buff and then I'll solo dragon. Looks like Cass is backing. That Shen R was huge. We might have had to run away if we didn't get that. Just because Hecarim had actually backed. Me and him were pretty much equal in items. Hecarim just lost out on so many camps. We're going to get our Q evolved, and then there's nothing this guy can do to us. There's, there's going to be no point once you're level 6 where... Uh, if you're full health, you'll be getting soloed by a melee jungler, unless you just play it really badly. Your solo damage output isn't that high if they're isolated. Right when you hit level 6, you should try to take Dragon if you're close to it. You can cheese it down ridiculously quick. Yeah, Hecarim's in my jungle. I'll head over there. I'm a little nervous that Darius is over there as well. Looks like TF's roaming over. Nice, nice, nice. TF has a deep, deep flank on this Hecarim. You might get six off that and then hop the wall. Oh, he's still only level five. That's huge. We'll E to get to him. Auto attack, Q reset, W, auto attack. Down he goes. His red buff's coming up. We can go pressure that. Kha'Zix is the same way as Master Yi or Zin Zhao. If you're already in range to attack someone with your autos or your Qs, you want to try to hold on to your dash for as long as possible. That way they start to get away. Also, your R is a movement speed bonus. It's not just invisibility. So your R is oftentimes the same way where you'll auto attack Q into R, auto attack Q. I'm going to have to hop the wall. I didn't realize Darius was coming for this. Yeah, that's kind of lame. He's going to get himself killed. He burned his flash. He has nothing. I'll attack Q, W. Thank you for the kill, Darius. Nice, nice, nice. I'm going to hop the wall. The uh, Hecarim is going to be level 6. And I'm missing my R. That could be a really tough fight. Especially since I'm sitting on so much gold. Want to get it down to just the big wolf so we can isolate it. And our Q's going on 50% shorter cooldown. It's technically 45. I'm just going to say half or 50% though. It's basically the same thing. Let's you clear your camp so quickly. As long as there's not a nearby monster. It's the same way with champions. If they're near a minion or if they're near a uh, an ally, then you can't get the isolation. That's why going into a bush is nice. You can get your isolation back because it's if they haven't seen you. So if you become invisible by either entering a bush or using your R, you can access that isolation damage. So even if they are near minions or something like that, you can just go into bush. It's a decent option. Senna's overstaying. I feel like I can kill her. I'm gonna R straight into her. I'll attack Q reset. I'll attack W. Down she goes. I have my Conqueror fully stacked. I should win this. He doesn't have Conqueror. There's no way he can fight me to the death once I'm stacked up like that. We're gonna stand near a wall and reset. We can always flash or jump over. Darius being very aggro. He doesn't have boots. This looks like it could be a great gank opportunity for us. First item rush, we'll grab Eclipse and go for as much of our boots as we can get. 
pick up a control ward E from base and head up there. Darius is moving at 360. We're moving at 375. Should be able to run him down easily. Big TFR. Looks like I could go mid. It's still an option. The only thing I have up is my Gromp, so I could mid into Herald here. Decent choice. Cass obviously doesn't have boots. She can't buy them. Flash E her here if she doesn't see me. And we queued her in midair. Just like with Tristana being able to use her E or R in midair, Kha'Zix can use his Q in midair and get off that damage a little bit earlier. Might be able to get a plate or two here. And Dragon is coming up. Yeah, we can get another plate. Cannon mini makes it so much easier. Our tanks many shots. That'll be the back line. Got so much golden XP from these minions. He's not going to do anything. We have item advantage. He is going for his blue buff. We'll try to clear out wards. Use sweeper as we're walking past multiple. That didn't quite see me there. He might have his own sweeper on. Nope. Boom. Down he goes. You're getting those isolation resets. I don't really want to give TF blue. I only did it because I took so much of his wave. I'm going to R into her. Hit her with an auto attack. Q. Down she goes. Once again, we try to auto champions first before we Q them. That way we can apply our passive unseen threat. And because our Q has more range. So once you get in range to auto, you should be able to hit him with a Q right after. So we can E this way. Oh, I, I messed it up. If you're fast enough, you can E one way and Q the opposite way, but I goofed. My E didn't even go over the wall. You can also E mid Q too, so that works. Ooh, where's Hecarim going? His R is probably up. Don't know what Rakan's going in for. I can't really get in there. That thing's in the way. He should die, yeah. We got him with our red smite burn. I can understand Rakan wanting to go in. It's not that simple though. She's got that down. TFR's in. I guess her R's on cooldown. She turns to fight. He gets the Everfrost down. And we get her in midair with our Q. What we want to do here, even though we're sitting on a bunch of gold, is go for Herald. Their mid laner's dead. Shen has R. This is a very low risk, high reward opportunity. Even if the enemies show up, we should be able to kill them all. Kha'Zix doesn't play that well in the true late game. You can think of him like an AD Evelyn or a Rengar. If the enemies are five-man death ball and Kha'Zix could really struggle to make space or find an opening because he doesn't really have much CC. And he's on the squishier side for sure. Uh, I guess we could lay this top. Oh, hey, Darius. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to get him. He's so fast with his ghost. Got him with an auto though. He made a big mistake going back in there. <laughs> he felt strong because he was fast, but speed doesn't necessarily make you tanky. You get in range to get bonked, you're in range to get bonked. I'm gonna walk up, hit the whole wave with our W. I'll let Shen finish it from here. I wanna reset. We're sitting on a crazy amount of gold. We have enough gold to go straight into Yomus. That is spicy. We can delay our tier two boots for now. They're very AD heavy. Kha'Zix, you're usually looking for plated or merc treads. Nothing else usually makes sense on them. Their team is Senna physical, Zaya physical, and their jungler and top laner are physical damage as well. So plated is gonna give us really, 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 really good value. Second evolution on Kha'Zix. You are usually looking for the W evolution because it is an AoE slow. This game, since we're giga fed, I'll go for the E evolution for increased jump range and jump resets on kills and assists. But 
The majority of time, you do want W evolution. It's stupidly strong. Being AoE and slowing them is just ridiculous. Does it actually do any more damage? It doesn't look like it does any more damage, but it does slow them. Which is really freaking good. 90% slow if they're isolated. Otherwise, it's 60% for two seconds, which is a still huge freaking slow. Oh, she's that low. Well, Yomu's for this. R. Get her in midair. We can E back out. My R, E, and R is on cooldown, but we do have our flash up. Zai's chilling mid. She can't be doing that. Not when I'm lurking. Hope this isn't worded. I knew I wasn't going to be able to cut. Ooh, it is worded. I don't, she, I don't think she actually got that in the bush. I queued the wrong person there. I literally queued the wrong person. That was such a shame. You hop out. It's the power of the double jump. I also have flash up and we're healing like crazy. So we might be able to go back in. I don't like this. That was not my favorite. I could go for Senna here. I'm, oof, that ward cucked me. Why is everything warded? That's so annoying. This whole triple area is warded. Oh, it sucks. Guess I'll eat the fruit and wait for somebody. We're basically just waiting for objectives. Don't get too caught up trying to only get kills on Kha'Zix. You do need to get objectives. If you don't get objectives, you're not gonna be able to close out the game. Right now we're waiting for Dragon to come up. This dude's on his blue. Our attack Q, I would jump the wall. I don't know what's over there though. Don't feel like dying. I know this whole area is worded. We'll go take the Dragon. We'll play for Soul and win the game by default. The team's actually struggling a little bit. It's mainly just me and TF that are fed right now. Thought we were all fed. All right, we can use our R speed up and our Yomu speed up. You usually want to use the R right as you're leaving the bush so they don't see you. Those are some really good Jin slows on his R. Come on, TF. Nice, I get the E resets. That's what I wanted. Enemies are looking for a fight. They're gonna get wrecked. I think they're in this bush. Nope. Hey, Santa. Turn around. Oh, I couldn't get it. Cute. Oh, I don't know where she went. I wish my W did more damage. <laughs> if I was full build, that W would have killed her. Oh, well. Now we're waiting for Baron to come up. I suppose that'd be our next objective to take. In the meantime, I'll farm the enemy's camps. Put that come farther behind. Usually for your third item on Kha'Zix, you're looking for a bit of survivability. Typically, you do that through getting Edge of Night for the HP and Spell Shield it provides. If you don't need survivability, feel free to go for Cyril does. It'll give you an added slow to stay on top of them and a whole lot of penetration. Oh my god, I... The sad thing is, is I could have lived there. I killed her, got the jump reset, but I didn't put it quite enough over the wall. With the Kha'Zix jump, you really have to get the whole entirety, the girth. 90, like 99% of the girth has to be going over the wall or it won't count it. It's not like a flash or a blink where you can just put 51% over a wall or laying a ward where you put 51% and it goes over. That sucks. We should have just jumped back this way. I was trying to go over that way. Get this edge knight. Or do I want Sorrels? I guess I don't have Merc Treads. Maybe Edge of Knight's better here. So I'll refill at this point. They don't have that much self-healing right now. I could always get Executioners later. We're moving at 430 movement speed, just walking. 
Sorry, yo moves out of combat movement speed. I'll use it here. Jeez, Darius. Let me get those resets, dude. Darius has got to stop being so selfish. We could definitely Baron right now. We don't have to shove mid. It looks like team wants to push this instead. Got him. Oh wait, I'm taking turrets. We're out of minions. TF apparently died there as well. Who's alive? Hecarim and Cass. I should be fine. Hecarim's not very fed. Even if I'm half health, should be able to take him. You heal up really quickly with your clips plus jungle item healing against monsters. Very efficient. Oh, he's not even here. Might be AFK at this point. I can blame him. Mysterious is funny. I wonder if he's just trying to end the game right now, so he's just going in like a goober. I'm getting those kind of vibes out of him. You can also WE and time it to where you land at the same time. It's usually when they don't know you're there, so you can do it like how I just did it. That way you can cue the midair, your W's gonna hit him in midair. There's less wasted time. There's just higher risk to it because the farther away you shoot your W from, the more likely it's gonna miss. They have more time to react to it. And uh, there's more time for them to accidentally even move out of the way. Oh, it sucks. Is this warded? I'm surprised she kept running there. Yeah, that's my bad. I needed to play the wall tighter. These guys are playing very, very defensive. They're, I think they're gonna let us get drag sold, but they're not gonna surrender. Big TFR. TF Shen seems like a pretty OP combo. Probably go for R Evolution uh, instead of W Evolution since we went for E Evolution. Having the extra R movement speed bonus would be really, really nice. And then the uh, movement speed lasts for longer and you're invisible for longer. More invisibility, more movement speed, and you get an extra charge of it, which is pretty spicy. Could be cast twice. Did they change it? I'm not sure now. Yeah, so you don't get an extra charge. It just lasts longer. Q smite that. And now we have Drag Soul. Even if they outscale us a bit with the Zaya Senna. As long as we group on objectives. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to do anything there. Kind of have to wait for my teammates to go in, but now my jump's on cooldown. We should just take Baron. We can take it ridiculously fast because our Q. It's only going to be on a second and a half cooldown. We have a lot of uh, self-healing. Clip self-healing, jungle item self-healing, W self-healing. No one's even really helping me take it right now. We're still pretty healthy. It's just me and TF for some reason. Jin's just showboating, trying to get kills. It's kind of annoying actually. I wish they would just help us take this so we weren't here forever. Jump in, jump out. Once again, don't go for an E evolution unless you are fed. If you're not fed, W evolution second is the best you can get. I need that reset. Nice, I got it. Oh, I way overshot that. I think I'm just dead now. Oh, big Chen art. Hey, buddy. <laughs> we got it that time. I don't think she realizes I got resets there. 
Oh, I've goofed. That Darius damage, though. Darius damage doesn't lie. He did 1,500 to me. That's nearly my whole health bar. Freaking nuts. A little bit sad I tossed away 1,000 shutdown gold there. At least we got Edge of Night. Do I want Surlda's? That's a really tough call. Surlda's is really good. I don't even think you want our evolution. I think it's overrated. It's been nerfed too much. Basically, your invisibility is two seconds instead of a second and a quarter. That's it. It can be cast twice within 10 seconds. That's the same as your other one. Oh, Bikun twice. Okay, so you do get an extra charge. Ability maybe cast once within. It's making it just it's the way they, they worded it. It's like confusing, but so yeah, you do get the extra charge. So with the upgraded R, you get three R's, and with normal R, you only get two. So it is worth it. I take it back. Just the, the way they worded it is super super confusing there for me. Oh, we're throwing a little bit. We're giving so many shutdowns away. Three shutdowns. That's really, really bad. Yeah, we should we should not go in there. Now our next win con is basically Eldar. They got all the shutdowns. They're really not that far behind in gold anymore. We need to just play for Eldar then end the game, I think. I think that's our uh, easiest way to win from here on out. I'd also like to get level 16 for my uh, third evolution. Probably go for a W evolution. This slow is just too valuable not to have. I already have E resets. I don't really need an extra R. Just die, bud. My jump was kind of bad. I didn't put it deep enough on her. Auto attack Q, auto attack. I didn't E in time. If I would have E before he died, I could have double jumped on her head. That would have been way spicier. He died a little bit too fast there. Or I E too late. Either way you look at it. Could have also E'd away and Q'd in midair. That would have been decent. Got him. Yeah, it's, I want my W now. Can't believe she tried to run me down. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this Cosmic Jungle commentary guide. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. Looking at damage ult enemy champions, we had a nice little lead. To Looking at damage taken, we actually took the most on our team. I'm very happy with that, considering we went Conquer, Bruiser, Kha'Zix. Looking at runes, Conqueror healed us for nearly 500. It doesn't show us its damage output. Triumph healed us for 646 plus nearly 600 free gold. We got alacrity by the 10 minute mark. Kudigross did nearly 1,000 damage. Sun impacted 894. And Ravenous Hunter healed us for 4,268. Kha'Zix jungle in a pretty solid spot right now. You just need to be very careful and try to avoid picking him against junglers that can build Hourglass because once they have Hourglass, the game's over for you.